Hey guys, on today's video, I'm taking a look at Netflix. So let's get started. Go right into Google, then type in Netflix. You're going to see this. Usually, I would say don't go into the first option because it could not be Netflix, maybe. It could be some other type of thing. So I would say scroll down. However, in this case, this is it. This is Netflix. So we'll go right into Netflix. And then from here, you can sign up for whatever plan you would like. So if you scroll down, you're going to see a little bit about Netflix. However, what you want to do is click down here where it says learn more so you can, can see the plans. So go right into it. You're gonna see this. So I usually tell you to do this before you put up your email because maybe change your mind during this video. So we're gonna go on and go into next and we're gonna see the plans right here. So these are the plans available at the moment. The cheapest one is with ads, it's $5.99. Then we have standard, $16.49 and then the premium which is $20.99. With premium, the big thing would be 4K. So you have 4K TV, you want to watch movies at 4K, you want to go for it premium. With standard is for those of you who don't really care, don't really see that big of a difference between 4K and 1080p. But that's a huge difference between the two of them. Now with standard with ads, the humongous difference is, yeah, you do get ads between this plus the 1080 resolution. Um, it does tell us here that we cannot download. The biggest difference, I guess, with standard with ads would be that. The fact that obviously you get ads, you cannot download, and uh, it does tell us that some shows or movies, you might not be able to see them with the standard with ads just because of whatever they got with their contracts there. Also, a lot of people want to see standard or premium because of how many people can watch at the same time. So with premium, it's four. So up to four devices at the same time. Standard, just two people. And with standard with ads, also two people. So that's good. So it means two people can watch Netflix at the same time, whether you have standard with ads or just standard without the ads. Premium would be more for a family since four people can watch all at the same time. So if you do wanna go for standard with ads, you can just click on it, go on to next, and then you can just set up your account. So go right into next. It's gonna ask you for your email. It's not gonna ask you for the password for your email. It's asking it's for a password that you create for your Netflix account itself. So for example, we're just gonna type in tech and design at gmail.com. Password, I would say don't let Safari make one for you. Just do one yourself so you remember it or you kind of remember it at least. So I would always click on choose my own password and then type in something. Obviously, don't make your password too long. Just make sure you make it something that's, uh, that you will remember. Anyways, right now, please do not email Netflix special offers. You can click here for that or just skip that. Uh, for most of you, I would suggest clicking there just because you're signing up already for Netflix, so you don't really need any offers. So go right into next. Then from here, it's going to ask you for your credit card or debit card. Plus, if you have a gift code, this is the point that you have to type it in. So here you put in your gift card pin or code. That's for those of you who had a code. If you don't, just go into credit card or debit card, click there, and just type in your credit card number. Once you fill up all your information, just go into start membership. That's going to be down here below. Just click on start membership. Once you click on start membership, it's going to ask you for your phone number. This is very important to recover. So if you lose your password for any reason and uh, for other reasons, you also need this because you might need that 2FA and that's why you have to put in your phone number. So put in your phone number. Once you put in your phone number, go right down here and click on next. And once you do that, it's going to take you here. What device you're going to be streaming on. Well, I'm going to be streaming on so many things, which does include this computer. However, most likely not that much. It's mostly going to be my phone or tablet plus smart TV. And I do have streaming devices, console, maybe. So I'll just put that on as well. Cable is the only thing that I don't have or will ever have, hopefully. <laughs> uh, so down here below, you're going to see next. Just go right to next. Oh, by the way, down here it says something else can also do that as well. Then it's going to ask you to go ahead and set up your profile and add more profiles if you want. So you can add as many as you want. So right here, or just add the one that you want and that's it. So I'm going to type in tech and design. Then we can add other profiles. Once you typed in all the ones that you wanted, just going to next. By the way, you can add more profiles later on. This is not something that you can't change later on. Uh, most of the things that we're setting up right now, you can change them later. You can add them, do anything you want. So anyways, on the bottom, you're going to see next, click on next. And at this point, if any of these things are for kids, just put a check mark here, click on it. And it's going to put a check mark. So that means that's your kid. 
and uh, you might want to do that if you have any kids. If you don't, just take out the check mark, don't put any check marks, just go into next. And from here, just set up your birthday. So just put in your birthday, go ahead, uh, put in your year, your gender. You can put prefer not say, by the way, and then just click on next. Here, you're gonna see what languages. So this is really good, especially for those of you who know multiple languages or will be using other languages as well. It's a quick setup. So for me, it's Spanish as well. Um, there's two Spanishes, by the way, here, but I'm just gonna choose the one and that's it. Uh, I mean, one's English, obviously, that should be up there. You can scroll down for more and you can always add more later on, by the way. So just click on next. Okay, it's gonna ask you what type of shows would you like? So for me, The Office is a big one. The Witcher's interesting, but don't feel like I'm gonna be watching that. Wednesday, I haven't watched it, so definitely. Love is Blind is something I remember watching before. And then personally, I like movies, well, Stranger Things for sure, but I like movies that are scary. Just don't see anything here. You can see that it's uh, a horror film or something like that. So I'm just gonna go to next. You can just finish up on the bottom right hand side and it's just gonna set up everything for you. It's just gonna get started with things that you might like. Going to next, next, next. And we are done. So at this point, you can go on and start watching anything you like. Obviously, in your list, you're going to see exactly what you selected. So that's good to get started. And then just keep scrolling down to see more and more stuff from Netflix. And like I mentioned, uh, the plan that we chose right this second was just for two devices. So two devices at the same time. And that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.